Hi guys, Phil Radford here. Um, right, first massively really quick tutorial today. Um, I'll just show what we're going to do. I'll talk you through it as we go. Just get one polycube out, scale it up, scale it across, scale it up, scale it across. Um, let's just freeze the transformations on this. Really important, those. Um, DMF tab open, just generate tech cage, and there we go, let's just create a quick passive region. Um, pull it over, turn our frames up, and just play that, and that should just start falling down. Okay, cool. Um, let's just open up the asset manager with this, and I'm just going to turn off that driven tech cage. Okay, um, I'm going to select the scene node, active scene node, which is in DMM scene, and I'm just going to turn the sub steps up. You can actually turn these up quite high before you get any sort of slowdown in your scene, and you get a much better simulation. There we go. Okay, so what I want to show you is this, and this is really clever, um, and I'm sure you're going to use this in certain things. Uh, let's say let's say you've got a duplicate of this object so let's do that DMM asset duplicate DMM object that's really handy actually um, there it is and let's just give it a passive region as well quick 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 alright here we go play that be echo right so let's just turn the um, grid off for a minute to see things better Alright, so two identical shapes, same properties, everything, but I want this one to be affected differently by gravity. I want this gravity on this object to make it go up in the air. So we know that if we select the DMM scene node, um, we've got gravity. So to make it go up in the air, I need to get rid of the minus in gravity. But obviously, hang on a minute, this one's going up as well, and I don't want that, I want that one to go down. <clears throat> so, clever thing inside DMM, I only, I only just found this out, so I thought I'd just share it, let's get rid of this one, don't need you, but, um, is this one still going up? God damn it. Um, select the scene node again, let's stick in the minus there. Call again, let's just create another, a, uh, what? Well, no, we're not. What I'm going to do is, um, Where are we? DMM Scene Manager. Alright, let's open that up. Okay, so in there we can see we've got the first DMM Scene node, which is active, which is what we're using, which has got a negative gravity, which is fine. So, what I want to do there is create a new active scene node, and whatever I create uh, while this is active, we'll use that scene node. Um, so uh, bosh bosh bosh. Uh, let's create a passive it was a DMM object. Um fire free transfer. Good. Passive. Come on, not quick enough. Let's get in here. Right, so it's still gonna drop. Kaching. So let's select that and let's go highlight selected DMM object scene node. We notice that it selected the active one. Let's select the highlighted DMM scene. We notice that. Let's get rid of that minus value. And by absolute magic, um, when we play the scene now, we get in opposite gravity directions, which is exactly what I wanted. So how clever is that? So we're using, you know, basically two sort of solvers <coughs> within the same scene, which means that. You know, we can start to create endless possibilities. I uh, just wanted to show you that really quickly. Didn't know if any of you guys knew about it. It, it is in the uh, DMM plugin documentation. If you've been bothered to look for it, um, you'd have seen that it's there. But it might not have been one that you've you'd picked up on yet. But very interesting and really great. All right, cheers, guys. I'll speak to you. See you in another tutorial.